So far, we've talked about the silver and copper and the reactivity series of metal, and we've been going up the scale of reactivity. So we use copper to get our silver. We use nickel to get our copper. Now we need to get our nickel. So we can go ahead and either use zinc, or in this case, I'm going to use aluminum. Aluminum or zinc will work. And actually, if you put aluminum or zinc in any of these solutions, you'll drop out all the other metals as long as you saturate it with, uh, you know, that higher reactive metal. So in this case, we have a fairly pure nickel solution. We're going to add aluminum to this, and that's going to drive out all of the nickel. One thing to keep in mind is aluminum foil will have some iron in it, and that's going to also color our, um, our wastewater or our water that we're going to use for the next step. Uh, so pure reagents are highly effective when we're going for purity. But again, this is just a collection, uh, collection step, so we just want to amass as much of the product as we can and then move to a refining step where we make it pure. All right, so I'm going to start adding the aluminum foil. Like I said, you could use zinc here or aluminum. And it takes um, a few moments for the reaction to start. And then once it does start, it kind of gets a little vigorous. As the reaction kind of dissipates over time, I'll move this beaker over to some heat and we'll heat this solution and continue adding aluminum. You have to add quite a bit. Uh, to drive all of the nickel out of this solution.